So here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, the site of Headstrong 2021 for the first ever Diamond Destruction match. And you know, I'd like to think that I accomplished what I set out to do. I'd like to think that sitting here right here on this bench looking at the battlefield here in which I took down the deceiver. Sure, you can say we tied up two to two, but I pinned him and then I kept him down for a 10 count. That's right. I won the pinfall portion and the last man standing finale of this match. Sure, he beat me along the base paths for the four corners part of the match. And sure, he took some of that barbed wire that I had over there along home plate. And he cut me open. He left me scarred near the top of my forehead a little bit. But at the end of the day, that didn't matter. You know, it told me something when Logan showed up back in the SVBW yard away from this diamond right here, this decrepit diamond, I should say, the perfect and fitting in for the deceiver. But enough about the deceiver. I was happy to see the Dark Wolf Logan Price, and him and I battled to a sudden death submission finish in which he took advantage of my injury, my well-documented right ankle. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something here. If you're not aware already who's talking, you should be by now. Because I have this to show for every single ounce of blood, sweat, and tears that I laid in to my whole career. And especially at Headstrong. That's right. I came out with these. The SVBW World Heavyweight Championship and the UCWA World Heavyweight Championship. Now, as I sit here and reflect, I want to tell you all something as well. As you know by now, and as you saw at the end of Headstrong, Logan announced that I was the new world champion. You see, I understand that there will be some that say Clay Mercer did not earn these titles. Clay Mercer did not defeat the Dark Wolf, Logan Price. Clay Mercer didn't even technically defeat the Deceiver. Well, you know, I haven't seen or heard up from the Deceiver at all. He was stalking me leading up to Headstrong, and he couldn't find me until I let him know where to find me right here. But enough about the deceiver. He's in the past. What's next for Clay Mercer? What's next for the SVBW World Heavyweight Championship and the UCWA World Heavyweight Championship? Well, you see, the next chapter will be written for Clay Mercer and for these championships at SVBW Adrenaline. Now, I know also what you are thinking. Clay, you were hobbled at the end of Headstrong. How are you going to defend those? How are you going to heal up in just a month's time? And how are you going to come out on top again with these? Who will you face? Well, those are all good questions, in which I have to say this. Last time I held the World Heavyweight Championship... I let my ego get the better of me. I didn't take the time to heal up. I didn't go to the full extent I should have to take the cautionary measures and get myself hit properly healed up. So with that being said, I'm going to be a fighting champion. I'm going to get this foot healed up. This will not 
stop me. And as for adrenaline, I don't want just one challenger. Hell, I don't even want two challengers. Give me everybody on the SVBW roster. Give me the Dark Wolf Logan Price. Give me the Executioner, E.T. Eric Tyler Mullins. And give me the Undead One in an elimination fatal four-way match. Make it happen, boys. Every single one of you show up and you get a shot to become world champion. But let me say this. I promise you all. I promise you. When I say that I'm bulletproof, you better believe me. I want to wrap up with these closing thoughts right here. I'd like to think that I've proved my point. I accomplished my mission with the Deceiver. Hopefully he's gone away for good. But I want to tell you all, it's not always about the size of the dog in the fight. It is about the size of the fight within that dog that is entering that fight. It is about the passion, the energy, the strategy, and the courage you bring to that table. And I don't care what I have to do to heal up. I don't care what, what I have to do to mentally prepare myself for adrenaline. I will successfully retain these titles. That's not just a promise. That's bulletproof. <laughs>